Hi everyone, do you know that you can add Copilot agents in Microsoft Teams? So stick around because I'll show you all steps to achieve this goal. And if you don't know where to start or what is a Copilot agent, please check the link in the description or in the upper right corner. I made a video how you can do that. All right, let's see how we can take advantage by a Copilot agent in Microsoft Teams in a group chat or a meeting chat. Let's get started. Here I am in a, one of my SharePoint site collection. To be more precise, I am on Global HR Portal. So I would like to share an agent that I built in Microsoft Teams. To do that, I'm going to click on the Copilot icon in the upper right corner. And then next to the name of my agent, there is the chat option. Here in this panel, I have available copy link for Teams. So if you don't have specific setting in the SharePoint Admin Center, for example, this one, file and folder links. So if you set this one, specific people, you are not going to see the first option available in the panel. So you need to have only people in your organization. And if you allow to share link with anyone, you have this additional option. But this is just fine to have the option to copy link for Teams. So let's do that. Let me copy this link. Now it's copied and it means I can jump now on Microsoft Teams. Let's do that. Here I am in a Microsoft Teams. Let's open the chat because I'm using the new chat and channels experience. And then I'm going to open this group chat that I have. You can share Copilot agents in group chat or in meetings at the moment. Later, we will see also in, uh, in, the mobile, uh, in the mobile app of Microsoft Teams this option. And then you can also in the future add your Copilot agent in a channel of Microsoft Teams. Now, I am in this group chat or, and all I need to do is just drop here the link, pass the link. And now, as you can see, this will be added as a app. So let's send this. And now, very important, I need to click on this button, otherwise the member of this group chat will not be able to use this Copilot agent. So let's click now on this button and this will install my agent as an app in the group chat. And there we go, I have now this FAQ agent installed and up and running as an app chatbot in uh, in the chat so what i can do here i can start to taking advantage and leveraging the capability of this agent so let's ask for example this thing and now my copilot agent will work and processing my my request so i can also mention now the faq agent and then ask other other things so I can for example ask uh, generate the FAQ of private channels here I can uh, check the response of the previous of my previous uh, query and question and now I have here another another response so I can click here and now I can see in this panel the the document used where my agent has got the all the information and that's it so now let's see how can be added in a meeting I am now in a meeting uh, with my colleague so I'm going to open the chat so I can pass the my copilot agent, the link of my copilot agent. There we go, same experience. I can click on the icon send. This will be shared in the chat. And as a last step, very important, I need to click on the adding to this chat button. Here we go, same experience. I can ask uh, different things, for example, but we have exactly the same experience that we have seen in the group chat. Now, every member of the group chat, or in this case of the meeting, can use and take advantage of 
the capabilities of this agent that I created. And there we go, I get the response. Here I am back in the group chat. Let's say that I want to remove and uninstall now this Copilot agent from here. So to do that, I'm going to click on the ellipsis button next to the name of the group chat and then manage apps. Here I can find FAQ agent. Let's click again on the ellipsis button and then remove. And now my agent is gone. Same experience in the meeting. So all you need to do is just target the meeting chat and then again manage apps, ellipsis button and remove. And I remove it now my copilot agent from this meeting chat as well. So what do you think about copilot agents in Microsoft Teams? Drop your comment in the comment section of this video. And if you find this video helpful, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time. Bye.